Well, good morning. First of all, a great job, uh, Grant and Emily. Uh, you are much more poised at your age than I probably was 13 years ago when I took over this job. So a great job to start us <laughs> off this morning. We'd also like to thank, I believe the name is Mr. Dustin and the concert band for the entertainment as we were all coming in. Great job. Thank you for being here. Uh, with me today is Holly Couturier uh, to the left. She's a member of our executive staff, the Maine Principals Association. One of her primary responsibilities is to work with assistant principals in terms of planning uh, conferences and recognition programs. So uh, thank you, Holly, for being here with me today. Uh, my name is Dick Roth, I'm the executive director of the Maine Principals Association. The average person on the street across the state of Maine, if you mention Maine Principals Association, they say, oh yeah, you guys run the volleyball championships. I lay a couple of nice trophies up there as we came in this morning. <laughs> and all of the other sports activities that uh, I know many of you in this room uh, participate in uh, over the course of the fall and the winter and the spring each year. Uh, in addition to that, though, we're not just about athletics when it comes to high school students. We are also uh, very involved in activities. Uh, we run the uh, one act play, the drama competition. We're involved with music. Uh, we are also involved with National Honor Society Student uh, Council uh, and many other activities whereby we try to support high school students of the state of Maine and help them grow and become the leaders of tomorrow that you all are going to be. The part of our association that most people know a lot less about, if anything, is that we are also the K-12, uh, so elementary, middle and secondary, principals and assistant principals uh, of, for the state of Maine. We have about 800 members, principals and assistant principals at all grade levels. Uh, we provide between 50 and 65 days of professional development every year, trying to help the leaders of our schools be the best that they can be uh, at leading those schools and working on behalf of the staff and their students. Uh, we also represent not only our members, but students before the legislature. Uh, when the legislature is in session, I spend almost all of my time from June through Till, me, from January through to May or June, uh, testifying uh, on a, about 300 bills every year that affect the education of the students of Maine. So we just want you to know this morning that we're, although all of those gold balls are important, we're much more than that in terms of what we try to do uh, to support education uh, in the state of Maine. We also are uh, very into trying to recognize excellence, whether it's through sports and activities, or whether it's through uh, the members of our association. I want to let you know that uh, Mr. Hall has been an extremely active member of our association uh, on the ski committee. As a matter of fact, we found a way to keep him on that committee after his six years term was up because he's such a, 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 an important cog in, in the wheel of ski. Uh, but he also uh, works for us, I say works for us, uh, we have a four-day uh, program for new principals and assistant principals every year uh, that meets in August, uh, usually uh, again in October, December, or January, and March. And he meets with a group of new principals and assistant principals across the state and helps them get through nine weeks of the school year at a time with a, with a program uh, that he puts on. We're extremely thankful to him for all that he has done for the Maine Principals Association. Having said that, though, this is not about Mr. Hall today. <laughs> this is about Mr. Otto. And in terms of recognizing excellence, uh, we do have a process where we recognize a high school principal of the year, a middle school principal of the year, an elementary principal of the year, an elementary assistant principal of the year, and a high school assistant principal of the year. So you can probably start to get a feel where this is going. Uh, in just a minute, I'm going to bring Mr. Otto up here and, and, and give the full and proper recognition. Uh, this is just one small piece of the process uh, as we move forward as the announcement here at the school. This is one of my favorite days of the year when I get to go into a school and make these kinds of announcements. But I want you to know that Mr. Otto will be recognized at our spring conference uh, in late April uh, where we have a recognition banquet to honor all of our retiring principals and assistant principals and to honor our principals and assistant principals of the year. And oh yeah, by the way, he gets pretty much an all expenses paid trip to Washington, D.C. April 15th to 17th with the assistant principals of the year from the other 49 states all to meet together, share their experience, their expertise, 
and to celebrate their accomplishments. So it is with great pleasure that I make the formal announcement this morning that the high school assistant principal of the year for the state of Maine is the Armouth High School's wow. Mr. Josh Ogden.